Quran Gate leads to the city of Shiraz, a city of love, roses and poetry, located in the south of the Iranian highlands. Famous Persian poets once lived here and created works of great beauty. Today their mausoleums are visited with much reverence, such as the tomb of Hafiz. A magnificently maintained garden surrounds the pavilion and its eight columns. The columns support a small dome, beautifully decorated with fresco mosaics that date back to the Zan dynasty. In the center is a gravestone of colored marble, engraved with text. This, the Paradise Garden, is one of the city's many parks. Nazri al-Mulk had a three-story palace built here. From the Middle Ages, Shiraz had a well-developed network of quantum, underground drains that continued to nourish a number of gardens. It's now a botanical garden. The Mongols left Shiraz undamaged, but the Afghans conquered, destroyed, and looted the city. Finally, a Kurd, Karim Khanzand, established a trading center here, sheltered by a citadel which became the capital of his empire. The sovereign reigned here with much power and ceremony, along with all the amazing splendor of that time. Guests of the Khan were accommodated in an adjoining garden with ponds and a great array of fragrant flowers. Both the interior and exterior of the pavilion are decorated with exceptional tile mosaics, the motifs of which depict various scenes of life in the royal court. With its many domed rooms, the Vakil bathhouse was built in around 1776 AD. Within the vaults, numerous frescoes depict floral ornaments and religious motifs with lifelike characters. Amid inviting bathing facilities. The Vakil complex also contains a mosque that was built at the same time as the bazaar, a replica of a regal Arabian mosque. All from the same source, 48 twisted ribbed marble columns support the ceiling that is covered with tile mosaics. The Vakil Bazaar, whose main thoroughfare is around 800 meters long, is the most beautiful in Iran. From 1871, the bazaar and its warehouses served as a center of trade for a hundred years. On both sides of the main street are shops which offer fabrics, spices, ceramics, carpets and clothing. A traditional tea house has huge, colorful wall mosaics and a romantic atmosphere. The Shah Shara Mausoleum contains the remains of the brother of Imam Reza, the 
tomb was built in the 12th century and later enlarged. The King of Light died in Shiraz and is revered as a saint. It's an impressive sight. The ancient Friday mosque is entered through the mausoleum. Its design is typical of Persia's royal court. Few tiles adorn the rectangular building which is set to be modelled on the Kaaba in Mecca. The Nazir al-Mulk Mosque with its courtyard pond is known as the Rose Mosque due to the floral decoration of its tiles. The winter prayer hall shines out in the light of stained glass windows. The old city palace of the Kavam al Mulk family is now a museum. The former Brioni is named after the bitter flavoured oranges grown in the courtyard. In the small garden palace, guests were received outside and escorted via steps to an open portico. The hall's walls and ceilings are decorated with splendid mirrors and a dignified portrait of the master of the house is positioned between elaborate tiles. The Madresi Khan is the most well-known traditional university in Shiraz. It was donated by Ala Verdi Khan, a famous military leader of Shah Abbas. In the 19th century, the Kavam family took over the Persian orange garden from Del Gosha together with a building from the Zand and Qajarin periods. The three-story garden house contains rooms with fine mirrored walls and wooden tarsiers. Valuable exhibits are reminiscent of the infinite wealth of its former owner as well as the important art of that time. Nearby is a garden that contains the mausoleum of the poet Saadi, a poet known far beyond Persia. When Tehran became the capital of the Qajarin Empire, Shiraz became less important. And yet even today, the city's scholars and poets are still held in high esteem, with both modernity and tradition complementing each other in peaceful harmony.